Hey guys, your boy Tiki IGs, and I'm back with another video. This video I actually did like four or five months ago, so long ago. I just haven't had the time to upload it. In this video, it's pretty hard to hear me, so the wind is very, very loud. I did not recognize it at the time, so bear with me. The audio isn't too bad, but you guys should be able to hear me. I'm just letting you guys know, fair warning, that the wind is pretty loud, so bear with me with the audio. But without further ado, let's just jump right on to the video. Hey guys, your boy Tiki IG, bring you guys back with another video. This is a range test for the Desert Eagle Nerf gun. Um, again, all the whole entire line of these Nerf guns, they all shoot 9mm rubber bullets. So that's why these are so special. Um, they also shoot Nerf darts as well. So uh, we're going to see the range, test, the range test for this type of Desert Eagle gun. And um, without further ado, Fly back action. Without further ado, uh, let's see how far this can shoot. I'm pretty sure I think it will not even shoot 30 feet. That's my guess. But uh, let's go. Ahead. We're gonna, first. I'm gonna shoot off about. I mean, this can hold four rubber bullets, four nine millimeter rubber bullets. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna use four darts, Nerf darts for this, and uh, we're gonna see how far the Nerf darts shoot first, and then I'll do the nine millimeter second. So. Again, like all the Nerf dart, like all the guns in the line, all you do is load it up like this. You slide back, and you're ready to shoot. That's it. So I'm gonna shoot all four of these. Desert Eagle, let's go slick at those ranges and then I'll shoot off the 9 millimeter rubber bullets after that. <clears throat> Alright, so brings us up over here, all four, pretty much the pretty much all accurate accurate, you know. They're the range isn't so bad for these. So they're all pretty accurate. So here, come over here, we got about 27 feet. Here, we got about, whoop, one sec. <clears throat> Messed up the tape there. Here we got about 28 feet. If it uh, focuses here, 28 feet. Come up to our next two, which is pretty much similar ranges. Very similar ranges right here. They got about 31 feet. Let me go ahead and zoom in on that so you guys can see. 31 feet. Both darts got 31 feet. And those went up to like 28, 27 feet. So those are the Nerf dart ranges for the Desert Eagle Nerf gun. As you guys see, all the Nerf guns and this line looks pretty much real. So, if, I don't know if you guys like those type of ranges. Those ranges were not so bad. Um, guys like those ranges for the Nerf gun, then I suggest you guys pick that up. But now we're gonna go ahead and move on to our nine millimeter rubber bullets. And this is just like the Colt M1911 that I reviewed. Um, you just do it's the same same mechanism. What you do is click the red button right here. You release the clip, and it comes out. But this one can hold four bullets instead of three, like the Colt M1911 can. So I'm going to load it up the same way you do, the same way you did with the um, Colt M1911. Or well, the M1911. I don't know why I keep saying all that. Anyway. So just load it up now. It's kind of hard to do though. Like 
looking in the camera, making sure I'm in the camera or not. Hopefully we can get some better uh, ranges with this. So same way, put it into the clip since it's fully loaded, you gotta pull the slide, you gotta slide it back, carry it in with the other finger, and move it forward just like that so you're ready to shoot. Alright, let's see what we can get some ranges out of this. Alright, let's see what we can do. That one was pretty bad. And that's it. Pretty sure that was it. Yeah, that was it. All right, let's go look at those ranges. All right, hopefully I can find these. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'm gonna definitely try. That wasn't. They all didn't land in the same area, so the range is. It varies. It is very windy out, but it shouldn't affect the bullet that much. Um, I see one. I guess this is our lowest one, unless I didn't pass up any others. This was at about a little over 29 feet. I'm going to show you that. Why is it? There we go. 29 feet. A little bit over that. Alright, let's look at the other, um, the other 9 millimeter ones. I'm not sure if I'm passing any up, so I'm trying to be careful here. They're not all that easy to spot. I was, I was, I would think it would be easier to spot, but it's not. I don't know if I pass them up, but I know I shot four, so I know I got to find four. So I might have to shoot all three more, y'all, because I'm having trouble finding it. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna shoot all three more, and every shot I shoot off, I'm just gonna go find it because I just can't keep shooting them all off and then expecting to find it. They're kind of hard to find. I don't know why, but I'm having trouble finding them. So I'm going to shoot off three. I did manage to find only one out of four, so I'm just going to shoot off three. And since the clip is not fully loaded, I mean fully not, uh, since it's not fully loaded, I can just put it on into the gun without having to slide it back. I shouldn't have to. Yeah. Oh, nope. You still got to, let me see. Yeah, you still got to, Pull the slide back, just like that. Make it work, all right? All right. I love you. I love you too. All right, so let's do it. Let me see if I'm in the frame. Okay. All right, I saw that landing. Yeah, all right, I saw that one. So, this shot about 23 and a half feet. So that's pretty bad, <laughs> it's pretty bad. But yeah, I knew the Desert Eagle wouldn't be that strong. Wish they made the spring a little, but you can always modify the spring to make it stronger. I haven't modified any of the springs. All right, let's shoot off for a second. But yeah, I find this more easier to shoot off one and then going to find that one instead of shooting off like five and then trying to find all of them. I landed somewhere over here. See, I'm still struggling even, even when I shot off one, I'm still struggling just to even find that one. Oh, where did it go? 
Oh, here it is. Look at that shit. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Bring it all the way over. That shot about 29 feet. Wow, that's pretty bad, man. I really thought this stuff could shoot further than that. All right, we're gonna shoot off our last dart. I mean, our last nine millimeter rubber bullet. All right, let's do it. Pretty much in the same area. Landed somewhere over here. Please just show yourself. There it is. Oh my gosh. All right. So you bring this further back like I'm doing. And it's got about a little over 33 feet. A little over 33 feet. So that is the range test for the Desert Eagle. So this is my second strongest Nerf gun. Well, my last, at least, my second least strongest Nerf gun. This is just a tad bit bigger, a tad bit better than the M1 Colt M1 1911. M1911. This is just a tad bit stronger than the N1911 Colt gun. The Desert Eagle is just a tad bit better than the Colt M team. <sighs> the Desert Eagle is just a tad bit more stronger than the Colt M1911. But yeah, uh, I don't know if you guys are satisfied with those ranges, but to me, I kind of expected it, but I thought I could do a little bit better than that. So that is. The range test for the Desert Eagle gun. Um, honestly, I'm not really all that impressed by the ranges. I did not think it would shoot far, though. I really didn't. I really didn't think it would shoot far. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. And without further ado, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.